a force of uh, 3 plus 2x in newtons acting on a particle along the x-axis displaces it from the initial position which is a 1 meter to the final position which is a 6 meter. How do we find the work done? So first of all, uh, it's important to note that work done is equals to uh, force times distance that we know. Meaning that once we integrate a force with respect to a distance, what we get is work done. This is what I mean. So we can say work is equals to uh, the integral of a force and the change in distance. Let's say dx, like that. Okay. So now that we have this, let's see how we can proceed. So to start with, um, we have the limits from 1 to 6, but we won't apply the limit just yet. What we can do firstly is uh, we can first replace the force with what we've been given in the in the equation, of which the force is this expression that we have here. So work done is equals to the integral with limits from one to six. From one to six, the force is three plus two x with respect to x. Okay. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and integrate this function. So integrating this function, this is what we can do. Just rewrite it. So we're done. We have 3x raised to the power 0 plus 2x. This is what we have. Remember, there's no x here, but x is a 0 is just as good as 1. So the process of integration simply says uh, to the power of x, add 1. And whatever we get as a new power should go in the denominator. Here there's a power 1, so add 1 to that power, the new power should go in the denominator. Like that. Okay. Remember, we have limits from 1 to 6. So, work done in this case will be equals to, this will give us 3x over 1 uh, plus 2x squared over 2, with limits from 1 to 6. These two, these two can cancel out, leaving us with work done being equals to 3x plus x squared with limits from 1 to 6. Okay, now at this stage, it's just a matter of um, uh, applying the limits where we have to replace x with the upper limit, then you subtract the whole thing by replacing x with the lower limit. Meaning that work done will be equals to, so let's replace x with the upper limit. That is 3 times 6 plus 6 squared, the upper limit, minus the lower limit, 3 times 1 plus 1 squared. So in this case, work done will be equals to, uh, this gives us 18 plus 36 minus 3 plus 1. So the work done in this case will be 54 minus 4. Yes, work done is simply 50 joules. So this is how we answer this particular question. So I hope it makes sense. Thank you very much.